الله وكفى والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم For the last few days, we have been having this Fajr <coughs> gathering and talking about the importance of the purification of the heart that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that on the day of judgment, there is nothing that will benefit you, absolutely nothing. The only thing that will benefit is the soundness of the heart. So we need to understand the importance of this. We are all going back to Allah Ta'ala. We all will be standing in front of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala without exception. Without exception. And this is the only gift that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants from all of us. All of us are dying very, very soon before we will even realize we will be in our graves, in our qabr. So we need to think about that. We need to think about our akhirat, that how can we be successful. We cannot ignore it. It's not that, all right, you know, it is for somebody else, it's not for me, it's not that, it's for me, it's for you. And what I've been telling is that there is one process, which is taking one of the tarifas, taking one of the silsilas, some people ask if it is the only tariqah, if it is the only way that you can get the purification of the heart. The answer is no. You can actually get your purification done through other means as well. Because at the end of the day it is a sabab, it is a means. But it is an accepted means. It is a means that has been accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the four tariqahs. If somebody says that, oh, you know, how can I get onto the roof of this masjid? We'll say, okay, there are stairs that we have made. You can come and take the stairs. Is there no other way that I can get on top of the roof? Yes, you can. Why not? You may maybe you can try your high jumps. Maybe you're an athlete. You're a world record holder. You can jump and you can get onto the roof. Sure. But, I mean, how much time will it take for you to get onto, on top of the roof by jumping high jumps? I don't know when, maybe, we don't even know if we'll be able to get on to, to the top or not. But if you take the stairs, it'll be easy, it's accepted, it's a tried, tested method. Go and take the stairs and get on to the top, it's easy. So exactly like that, there can be other means, but these are the tried and tested means. These are the means that have been accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the means that our mashaykh have been recommending. These are the means that all of our akabirin, our elders, have been taking one out of these four tariqas. So it is only right that we only take, that we take one of these and you know, take a shaykh in our life, get hooked up ourselves up to him, sit in his sohbat whenever we get a chance, you know, do everything based on the mashura with him, take his advice, do the ma'ula that are recommended, and, and that's it. And inshallah ta'ala with the barakat of it, by the barakat of us hooking ourselves up to this chain, it is a chain. You know, I have a shaykh, he had a shaykh, he had a shaykh, he had a shaykh. All the way up to the Prophet Sallallahu it's a chain. We hook ourselves up with the chain. And when we hook ourselves up with the chain, all the nur, the barakat that has been with the chain, we also get that nur, that barakat. It's as easy as that. Why do we have to take a more difficult way? Why do we have to try a new thing? Why do we have to reinvent the wheel? It's no way. It doesn't make sense. It is insanity that if we try a new thing. So please, we must make an effort to get ourselves hooked up. And subhanAllah, it is such an amazing thing. I mean, I was thinking, if we, I can talk about this, inshallah, we have a talk 
I think Tuesday night on the 16th night. Inshallah ta'ala, maybe I'll talk about this. Then. What does it mean to be hooked up with the people of Allah? It's an amazing thing. It is something that we don't even realize that what is the importance of that. So please, this is what I want, request, want to request. You know, I, it's not only that it is true, but it is through my experience as well. I have felt barakat in my life. I've seen the value of it. And I recommend all of you that you also get benefit. I don't want anybody to be deprived of that. Everybody has been taking, taking benefit, so why should we be deprived? Inshallah. And the first step in this path towards Allah Ta'ala, we should remember that it is nothing but tawbah. We all should do tawbah for all the sins that we have been doing. Every single issue that we have in our life is because of the sins that we have been doing. The, the sins, the disobedience of Allah Ta'ala, the disobedience of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whenever we disobey Allah Ta'ala, whenever we sin, we feel the effect of that. And all the issues of our dunya are because of that. And of course, whenever we sin, there is a black dot that comes onto the heart. If we don't ask for forgiveness, we don't wash that away, there's an, and we sin again, another black dot comes onto the heart. And we keep on sinning until the time comes that all of our heart becomes black. And this is exactly what Allah Ta'ala wants. Come back to me with this heart washed. Don't come back to me with this, this filthy, this black heart with a seal on your heart. So first thing first, we all should do tawbah from our sins. Everybody must do tawbah, ask Allah Ta'ala for forgiveness. That, Ya Allah, please forgive. Whatever life I'm left with, I will try my level best that inshallah Ta'ala I will live a life of complete shariat and complete sunnah. Shariat is not only having a beard and having a cap and wearing jubbas. It is far more than that. It is complete submission from our outward and from our heart, loving, caring heart, smiling people, caring people, no jealousy, no hatred, no arrogance. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. So please, I request all of you to do tawbah. Inshallah ta'ala, when we do tawbah, Allah ta'ala's mercy is there, ready to forgive us. He will, inshallah ta'ala, wash our heart from all the sins that we have done. And inshallah ta'ala, from now, we should try our level best to inshallah ta'ala, keep it sound, keep it polished. The askar that I mentioned yesterday, they are the polish of the heart. So we wash our heart with tawbah and then we polish it every day with the zikr, with the daily mamulat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us tawfiq to understand it and prepare our hearts for that day when nothing will benefit except who comes to Allah ta'ala with a sound heart. Inshallah, it's the last uh, gathering of the mornings, inshallah. So if you can, inshallah, recite the kalimat of tawbah. You know, our Mashaykh have taught us that the kalimat of Tawbah basically is the tajdeed of our Iman, renewal of our Iman, and asking Allah Ta'ala that He forgives us of our sins. Anybody wants to take birth in this insulah, inshallah, they can make niyat of the bed. Alhamdulillah, wa kafa wa salamun ala ibadih ladhin astafa amma ba'd. So we can recite this kalimat with the sincerity of our intentions. Let's say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La ilaha illallah. محمد رسول الله آمنت بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله واليوم الآخر والقدر خيره وشره من الله تعالى والبعث بعد الموت آمنت بالله كما هو بأسمائه وصفاته وقبلت جميع أحكامه إقرار باللسان وتصديق بالقلب أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أستغفر الله ربي من كل ذنب وأتوب إليه برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين إن شاء الله these are the kalimat I've already told you the mamulat yesterday so please if you still somebody does not have the mamulat leaflet you know inshallah it's available with our brother here inshallah may dua subhanah rabbi al-alim wa-haam alhamdulillahi rabbi al-alameen Allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala ali sayyidina muhammad wa barik wa sallim ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين 
ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكر إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعسيان وجعلنا من الراشدين اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها فاصبحنا واصبح الملك لله رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك خير هذا اليوم فتحه ونوره وبركته وهداه ونعوذ بك من شر ما فيه وشر ما بعد ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت الصني العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين برحمتك يا أرحم الرحيم